Hey everyone, I got a couple emails that a few students had uh, a few issues after downloading some of these files from uh, the Yeast Genome Database. Just to give you a little bit of information, what they, they do is these files are downloaded in a format that's called FASTA file. And it's a pretty common format that's used in uh, the biological sciences and bioinformatics in particular. It all got derived from early on. Uh, it's from a, a program called FASTA, which was one of the early, which an early version of something that would be the equivalent to BLAST now. So it's a, it's a common format, but in, in reality, it's just a simple, it's just a text file. And you have tools that are already available on your computer to use them. Now, those of you, with, this demonstration is based on a, on a Windows computer. But after I do this, I will, I will talk you through, but I won't be able to show you the menus to go to on uh, Mac. But uh, I will show you how to do it on Windows. And some of the same things can be done on, um, on, on, on Mac as Windows. I'm going to show you kind of two ways to do this, one of which is, you know, for example, whenever you download from the yeast genome database, the protein sequence, for example, come the, the default file that downloads is this one that I have highlighted right here. What I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the right mouse button, and notice this comes up, and then I go Properties. You see this little context menu? This is sort of the, some of the information about the file. If you haven't been able to open up the file, it means that Notepad probably isn't here. Just click this Change, and it'll, it'll give you a list of possible applications. And Notepad is, general, is, is downloaded. It's part of the, it's one of the utilities that uh, the Windows operating system downloads. I think even, even though I haven't checked it, Windows 11 even has it. It's a common little editor. A lot of us use it quite frequently. But here it is, you just go ahead and click Notepad and click OK. And then from, from this point on, every time the computer sees a, a file that's .fsa, it'll default open it up with Notepad, which makes it life a little bit easier. Okay. And at the end, click the word, click Apply. And it'll apply it and just click OK. Now, there is a secondary, secondary approach to how to open this file if you want to use it that way as well, what I do is here is type notepad, click on that, and notepad opens up. Notepad opens up here, file, and then go to open. And then what I do here is, is this says this little menu right here says this drop down menu has text documents, you know, asterisk.txt. Click down and click all files and you'll be able here's that protein sequence again and you just click open and it'll open um, so it's a couple of little approaches like that that work and on a Macintosh on Mac operating system the pro the, the little work the little text editor like notepad is called text edit I think on Mac I have to look up uh, if, if you wind up not, if that doesn't work, send me an email and I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, I have a Mac over over behind me that I use for other things, but I don't record, haven't been able to record screen there. But it'll be text edit, and you can use text edit, edit the same way, and you can open the files. If you double click on the file on a Mac, it'll come up. If it can't open, it'll ask you which application to open it with, and then you can check check the box for text edit. But hopefully that helps you out probably should have put this video out uh, last week before you guys started doing the assignment, but hopefully this helps for those of you that are having issues. Hey, we'll see you later, and thanks for listening.